Battlefield friends and fans, welcome back to Battlefield 5. Yep, I'm playing a lot again. I'm alone again. I have tons of time. I usually play at least three hours during the week, every night, and about five to six hours on the weekend if there is not another game that I'm interested in. And currently, it's all about Battlefield 5. I still have a lot of grief with this game because there are so many bugs that haven't been fixed. But right now I'm just trying to do, make the best of it like everyone else who plays that game, right? And what you see me using here is actually the Gewehr 43. Yes, that's right. I have switched from the Self Slaughter 1906, which was my favorite gun for such a long time, to the Gewehr 43. And why is that? Well, it's mainly because the self slaughter rate of fire was just a little bit too slow for me. In a lot of situations, I just was like feeling that I needed a little bit of a faster gun. The problem with the Gewehr 43 is, even though it's got almost twice the rate of fire, it's got only five bullets in the magazine so if you don't get a kill with five bullets you basically look pretty bad because you have to re you get caught in reloading and that's never a good thing so you have to whether just make sure that you know what you hit and make a good decision before you start shooting at someone especially people who move really fast you may want to wait until they kind of stand still or slow down to really make good use of those five bullets before you have to reload and I have to say that hasn't really been too difficult and what I really really like about using a gun like this is you have to play more tactical instead of just running around and praying and spraying with some kind of SMG you have to really think about it because you have such a limited amount of bullets and you have only a few really good chances to take someone out and get a sure shot like this guy who did not know I was looking at him and that gave me a good chance of being able to get this kill. Once they see you have to really really hurry up otherwise you may not be able to get the person especially if they know that they have to just move as soon as you see them. And what's kind of interesting is actually that the hip fire is supposedly better on the Gewehr 43 than the Self Slaughter 1906 but I have a hard time shooting people out of the hip with the Gewehr. I just haven't figured out why yet. It's probably most likely my fault and not the gun's fault, but yeah, we'll, we'll find out. I, like I said, the one thing I really like in uh, Battlefield is how you can constantly keep interest in the game by just using different guns and trying to get good with all of them. And so you never really get bored, at least I don't. So I'm actually not playing Conquest here, you may have noticed that already, this is actually Operations. And while I played nothing but Conquest for probably like two months straight, because I just really really love Conquest, I was like, what the heck, I'm just gonna give Operations a try. I did play Operations a few times in Battlefield 1, but never really got into it so much. So I was like thinking, let's see how it is in Battlefield 5. Maybe it's better, maybe it's different. I just wanna see, I wanna give it a try. I cannot, you know, really charge it unless I try it. And I have to say, I almost like Operations better than Conquest, because I feel like in Conquest, there's so much camping going on because people take advantage of the fact that it's harder to see the enemy in this game than it was in previous Battlefield games and they can literally blend in with the environment where you can literally like stare at a bunch of rocks or at some trees and just not even see that there's someone there waiting to take you out and that's something that DICE mentioned that they're aware of and they want to fix but then, you know, I was kind of discussing this with other people and they were kind of saying that they like this more realistic approach where you really can't see the enemy really well because of course the enemy is trying to camouflage themselves and not being seen. And I have to agree with that, that's really true. And I'm a big, big sucker for realism. Uh, you know, you know that about me. The more realistic a game is, the more I'm going for it and the more I'm willing to spend a lot of money for it. But 
it can be a little bit frustrating if you've played previous battlefields and you get in here and you want to just do equally as well as you've done in previous battlefields. It was a big thing for me to get used to. Um, I was just so used to be able to spot enemies first before I took a shot because it kind of then highlighted the enemy and yes that's very very unrealistic but it literally made the game a lot of fun and I know I mean it was like on both sides people could spot you too so you had to just get used to move a lot and here and camping was almost like impossible in previous battlefields because someone spotted you you could move around and you for like you know a minute or so you were just highlighted on the map and there was no way for you to hide anywhere because people always knew where you were and I kind of think that there are advantages and disadvantages about spotting because if there is spotting like it was before people cannot really camp but it makes it much easier for you to know where the enemy is and take it take them out on the other hand when you don't have spotting like in battlefield 5 you don't really necessarily always know where the enemies are and often you get shot by someone you just didn't see but then it also gives people the uh, possibility to just camp like hell and I don't know I feel like the camping is worse because that's something it's like one reason why I kind of stopped playing Call of Duty because there was just so much camping going on every time you kind of ran around the corner you got taken out by some guy who was sat in the corner all match long and there's literally people here that I ran by like maybe half of the match I ran by them like 10 times and they were still sitting in the same corner waiting for someone to run by and that's just one of the pet peeves of mine but look at that one bullet it isn't that amazing I just love this gun I've done that so many times and it's so satisfying every time you don't even actually really need a bigger scope and there's a sniper right there I got him a little bit but he's not dead so I'm gonna make sure I don't give him the chance to take me out because I have to help this guy right now it looks like the sniper got him so it seems to be a sniper that is good enough to take me out too and I have regretted it so many times where I stuck out my head a second time the best thing is to usually move and stick your head out at a different position where you are not expected to stick out and then you can kind of confuse the sniper so what I really kind of noticed a lot lately is that there is very little reviving going on in most matches that I'm in and yes I usually I don't have any friends I play with I play alone but I'm always in some kind of squad or most of the time unless I get kicked out and then I usually notice at the end of the match that I was all by myself look at this guy you should check your corners before you run well I shouldn't say that because <laughs> That's how I, I, he could consider me a camper now because I'm sitting here. Oh well, <laughs> maybe I am camping, but that's exactly what I meant before. But anyway, what I was trying to say is that it's very, very frustrating when, for example, you're in a building, you look out of the window, you try to take someone out, you get taken out, you lay on the floor crying for help, you have three of your buddies enter the room, look at you, walk by you and then look out the window and all you can do is stare at their backs asking for help but none of them even makes the smallest effort to come and get you up and that's just a really selfish move and it really doesn't help the team because Battlefield is all about teamwork and yes I get it maybe I'm in a squad where there is three friends or four friends and I'm the one outsider but hey you know what I mean I mean how much effort does it take to help you up and it's so many times that I, I'm in a team like this or I'm a squad like that and I keep like reviving them and helping them out and then I'm thinking well maybe if I do it it kind of inspires them to do it oh no way it's just it's not happening and it's, it's just it seems to get worse and worse and the only time people really feel like they should help is if they can kind of earn something like a new gun or it's just some kind of challenge where they get something for it. They just don't want to do anything if they don't get anything for it. And that's just really, really frustrating. But there's really absolutely nothing you can do about it. It's the same 
with camping and all the other annoyances in first person shooters that you just have to live with. But once in a blue moon, I get into a really good team where we just help each other like crazy and we win every match and those are usually the best moments. So the one thing that's a big pet peeve of mine that I just wanted to mention here because it kind of applies to what I was just saying. If you are playing the medic or an assault, means you have ammo boxes to give out or med kits and you are really trying to be a good team player what happens a lot especially on the maps with a lot of buildings is that your ammo boxes and med packs literally fall through the floor almost in every situation and actually while i'm saying that i just realized that this sometimes even happens in the wide open that you kind of like on some kind of little hill or something and you toss your med pack and it literally falls through the dirt and you don't even know where the hell it ended up and sometimes i wonder if i'm in a building if i'm like on the top floor and the thing falls through the floor if i could just go to the lower floor and i would find it there i don't think so i think it just literally disappears and i feel like dice really needs to fix this somebody must have told them already they must know about it I cannot imagine that nobody else is annoyed by that because you cannot help your team if you're trying to give med packs out or ammo and uh, the packs disappear through the floor or through the dirt and they end up with nothing and then you have to wait until it respawns and you can finally give out more packs and you've learned that you may have to move to a better location where things don't fall through the floor but anyway I know that DICE is constantly making updates to this game and I guess we just have to be patient and wait and see if maybe in the next patch this will be fixed. And there's many many things that they haven't fixed yet but you know we just have to wait and see. And the other thing is also it feels like forever that we've you know started this, this game and the only new map that we got is Panzer Storm and Panzer Storm is just really an an okay map i mean nobody is really in love with this map it's just a big map where you never really get any tanks even though it's supposed to be a tank map and you know for people who are foot soldiers or infantry as you call them it's a bit frustrating to constantly be rolled over by some kind of vehicle or taken out by a tank and you kind of have to stick around the buildings and it gets a little boring but anyway, uh, I feel like it's it's so many people are so bored with this game already because they, we're playing the same old maps over and over and over. And for me, it's always like, it's, it's it should be time now that they bring out at least one map. But I just really miss those times where we had premium pass. Because when we had premium pass, every three months, you knew that we got a really good DLC with a lot of content, with at least four new maps, a bunch of new weapons, and it's just a big event, a big, big uh, excitement going on around it. And it seems like right now we can be lucky if we get a new map, and then it's maybe just kind of like an average map, because they used all their best maps for, for the launch. And I'm just a little bit worried that you know when we don't want, when we're not willing to pay anything that we just don't get much anymore because I mean who wants to work for no money? I really don't blame the developers if they don't have any desire to put out lot, lots of good content if the fans are not willing to pay for it. I just you know I'm a designer and I know how it is if people just expect the great work from you all the time but they kind of want it for free. You just kind of lose interest in doing great work. But enough about my rant, this video was really meant to be about the Gavea 43 and congrats if you made it that far. Let me know what you think, what are your rants, what are your pet peeves. I would love to hear it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. But to strengthen the reputation of the German Afrika Corps. Well done.